Good morning, happy new week, let us pray. Father, we are grateful to you for the gift of life. Your word says the living, only the living can praise you. We want to thank you for giving us the breath of life. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your goodness. And Lord, inspire us to pray in line with your will on this broadcast this morning. And let this be a week of better things for every one of us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So expect better things this week for it's our week of better things. And we have the high priest of better things as our Lord and Savior. His name is Jesus. When you hear better, what does it mean? It means improved. It's something that's improved in, in quality, improved in performance. It's in, improved in its nature. It's of superior quality. It's more effective. It's more efficient. You know, uh, it's more desirable. It's more favorable. It's more commendable. I mean, this time of year be more favorable for you, more commendable for you. I mean, you record, uh, you know, a, a, a progress uh, that you never thought would come your way, even at this time of the year, in the name of Jesus. I May mean, everything you've known uh, up till now be like child's play compared to what you will know in this last few days of the year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, let's read some scriptures. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 8. The A part, it says, Better is the end of a thing than its beginning. So the end of his year for you shall be better than the beginning. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 9. It says, Though we speak in this way, yet in your case, that is now own case, beloved, we feel sure of better things. One translation says, We are persuaded of better things concerning you, things that belong to salvation. Now we are in salvation. We are in Christ. So there are better things that come with the package of salvation. And those better things are yours and they are mine in Jesus name. Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 6. But as it is, Christ has obtained a ministry that is as much more excellent than the old as the covenant in mediates is better since it is enacted on better promises. Two things are there. Christ now has come to mediate the better covenant and that better covenant is established on better promises. So because of the better covenant established on better promises, we are assured of better things. So it's our week, it's our season of better things in Jesus' name. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 11, what does it say? I'm reading from the Passion Translation. But now the anointed one, that is Christ, has become king priest of every wonderful thing that has come. That is, he has become high priest of better things. This one says wonderful things, better things that has come. For he serves in a greater, more perfect heavenly tabernacle, not made by men, that is to say, not a part of this creation. He's the high priest of better things to come because he officiates in the real tabernacle on our behalf. Hallelujah. So we have the high priest of better things as our savior. Hebrews chapter 9 from verse 11. But when the Messiah arrives, the high priest of the superior things of this new covenant, so the message says, high priest of superior things of this new covenant. We belong to the new covenant and there are superior things packaged for us. Get ready. Be full of expectations. Amen. Be full of expectations. Now, um, let me read um, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 40 in the New Living Translation. For God has something better in mind for us so that they would not reach perfection without us. So we're included in the plan and better things are coming our way in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Can we give thanks to the Lord for his faithfulness, for his goodness, for his loving kindness over our lives. Lord, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your loving kindness over our lives. Can we appreciate the Lord for his mercies concerning us, his mercies that have kept us this far in the journey of the year 2022. Lord, we are grateful for your mercies that have kept us this far in the journey of the year 2022. To. We return the praise to you. We return the glory to you. We return the honor to you. We say thank you, Abba Father. Can we appreciate the Lord for the covenant of grace that you and I are a part of? Lord, we want to thank you for the covenant of grace that we are a part of today. We exalt your name because Christ Jesus, your Son, He's made our high priest today. And we exalt you for the victory of the cross of Jesus concerning our lives. We say thank you, Abba Father, for the salvation package that you and I belong to. I 
a part of let's give thanks to the lord lord for your plan of salvation and for the package of salvation with my name on it with my life included in it i give you thanks and i give you praise and i exalt your name in jesus name because you are called by the name of the lord can you appreciate him lord i want to appreciate it because i'm called by your name your name is recorded upon my life i return the praise to you i return the glory to you i return the honor to you in the name of jesus for the heritage you have in christ give thanks unto the lord for your divine inheritance lord i want to give you thanks for my divine inheritance I, i'm a partaker of the heritage of salvation i'm a partaker of eternal benefits eternal inheritances in you and i'm grateful to you for that and i'm glad and i rejoice uh, and i bless your name in the name of jesus can we appreciate the lord for the assurances of better things uh, that we have in his word lord thank you for the assurances oh god of better things that i have uh, in your word lord i give you praise in the name of jesus for his intention and, and his proclamation of better things concerning you this week and this year and for the rest of your days give him praise lord for the declaration of your intention concerning better things for me for the now and for the future i give you thanks i give you praises i give you glory and honor in the name of jesus christ of nazareth thank you for the unveiling of his goodness over your life i appreciate him lord for the unveiling of your goodness over my life i appreciate you i honor you i exalt you i glorify your name you are good and your mercies endure forever father take all the glory lord take all the honor lord take all the praise in the name of jesus christ receive the help of the lord for the journey of this week and for the journey of the rest of this year the help of the lord lord i ask for your help for the journey of this week and for the journey of the rest of this year in the name of jesus receive the strength of the lord for the journey of this week and for the journey of the rest of this year i receive your strength some trust in horses some trust in chariots but we will call upon the name of the lord our god lord you are our refuge and strength a very present help you are in trouble i ask for your strength i depend upon your strength for the journey of this week and for the rest of this year your strength oh god in the name of jesus he causes us to mount up with wings like the eagle so trust the lord for a mounting up with the strength of the holy spirit this week lord i believe for a mounting up in every situation and circumstance a mounting up with the strength of the holy ghost for the journey of this week in the name of jesus christ of nazareth ask for better things better things better experiences concerning you in the name of jesus lord over all my affairs concerning all of my undertakings let there be better things i've seen your glory in a dimension i'm asking for a dimension of your glory that is far superior to what i've known even in the past in the name of jesus let there be wonders to behold wonders to hear wonders to experience in my life and concerning my life in the name of jesus better things better things better things as the lord for new things things you have not seen before things you've not not known before things you haven't experienced before to begin to fall in place concerning you in your marriage in your business in your career in your ministry in your pursuits in your plans over your your projects and your concerns let there be new things falling in place things that we have never seen before things we've never heard of before in our own lives things that others have not seen concerning us before let there be unveiling of your glory in dimensions unknown in dimensions incomprehensible in the name of jesus you are the lord god of all flesh with whom nothing is too hard oh god so we are asking for an opening up of every hard ground an opening up of every shut door in the name of jesus trust the lord for deeper encounters and deeper revelations and deeper manifestations of the glory of god of the power of god let there be deeper encounters deeper experiences for your people oh god lord deeper revelations of your press of your person of your power of your presence in the name of jesus trust the lord for new potentialities concerning you yes new 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 possibilities new realms and dimensions of possibilities over your affairs over your jobs your careers your businesses your ministries your vocations lord over our vocations our ministries our careers our relationships our marriages oh god let there be new possibilities let there be new doors opening in the name of jesus new vistas of opportunities coming our way in the name of jesus better things we pray better things we ask trust the lord for restoration after restoration of every lost ground lord let there be restoration after restoration of every lost ground and let the restorations be in a level that is far better than what was lost before when you restore you restore 
or double. We are asking over for restorations after the order of better things in the name of Jesus. Over every lost ground, over every lost opportunity, over every lost prospect, let there be restorations and recoveries unto your Zion in the name of Jesus. We receive strength unto recoveries. We receive strength unto restorations in the name of Jesus. Can you trust love for better things in your walk with God? Better dimensions of faithfulness and diligence. Let there be better things in our walk with you. Better dimensions, newer dimensions, greater dimensions of your glory and your power. Thank you, Father. This is the season of joy and is the season of better things. We receive with thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you for praying with us this morning. See you again next Monday. Till then, compliments of the season. Bye-bye.